Hello everyone, my name is Skye and I'm a librarian at Brampton Library. For today's Take and Make Kit, we are going to create our own Shrinky Dink keychain. Here is what you will need to make your Shrinky Dink keychain. One Shrinky Dink sheet, scissors, a single hole punch, one keychain strap, one key ring, a black marker and colored pencils, and an image to trace. Here is how to make your Shrinky Dink keychain. First note that the Shrinky Dink sheet has a smooth side and a rough side. Use the smooth side for markers and begin tracing your design using the black marker. Permanent marker is preferred here. Once you are finished tracing, flip over to the rough side to color in your template with the colored pencils. Once colored, cut around your design, leaving a border of uncolored material around the image. This keeps the edges smooth after baking. Next, punch out a hole to insert the keychain strap after baking. Now it is time to put your shrinky dink in the oven. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees and line a baking tray with aluminum foil. Place your cutout design color side up on the tray, then place your tray in the oven. In less than a minute, your design will begin to curl then curl almost completely, and then flatten. When flat, remove your tray from the oven and let your shrinky dink cool. Once cool, thread the keychain strap through the hole punch. Pull the clasp through the strap loop to secure your design and attach the key strap to the key ring. Once your key ring is attached, you are now finished. There should be plenty of shrinky dink sheet left to make even more designs. 